everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing using online APIs to get our model data. Okay, so what do I mean by that? This right here is called the TV database. It's an open source database that is for television fans and you can get information about television shows and uh, some artwork about it and so on and so forth. This right here is their actual uh, API. And you can see that I have the API and I'm searching for the series name called Star Trek. I could change Star Trek to be maybe uh, King of the Hill. And it would only bring back one because there's only one thing out there named King of the Hill. And it, you can see that it works in, in steps, right? Where we have data, underneath data we have series, underneath series we have the actual series. Now if we go back and we type back in Star Trek, we can see that it brings back more than one. So if we just close down data, open data up, close down series, you can see that each series, okay, is a match in this API, okay? So, how do we use that in our list model view architecture? It's actually pretty simple. If we go back to our model that we had from our last tutorial, and we just take the model right out of the picture, okay? and let's create a XML list model. Okay, now we have to set a source. Okay, and for the source it can be a string, a URL, so on and so forth. Okay, there we go. Now, we um, let's look at the help page here to, to look at all the elements. Um, there is namespace declaration and you can look up what that means um, and then we have roles we have the source we have status which we've used before and uh, yeah that's that's all that we really need to cover for right now so we have the source now there's the query okay now let's look back let's get that started type in query okay now let's look back at this data again We've got these steps again. We have data and then we have series. Okay? And then underneath the series we have each one of these little elements, right? Or properties right here. Okay? So we want to be able to get all of these properties, right? So what we want to query would be data series. Okay, because we would want to we want to get each one of the series. Okay. So let's go ahead and set that up. Let's say query data series okay now we can use in our queries we can use other things like the to make it query everything and there's there's a bunch of stuff if you want to look that up so we have our forward slash and we're going to data series okay now we need to make our uh, roles for each one of our uh, of each one of the the properties inside of here like series ID language series name so on and so forth right so that we can use it in our delegate right so if we if we look over here at our other uh, model from before we were declaring them by like name is equal to Apple C is equal to red so on and so forth but in this case there's a um, there's an actual uh, element called um, XML role okay now, how this is used is, is we're going to um, define the name of the role, okay, and we are going to call the first role series ID, okay, and then we're going to define the query of the role, okay, so in this case, we want to query, okay, if we go back over to our API, we want to query, uh, let's query the banner, okay? 
So let's actually change this to banner. And we're going to go ahead and type in banner. Okay, and then we're going to put, because it's a string, we're going to put string. Okay, and there we go. We now have one banner ready. So let's go back over to our, uh, now we have to put it in an ID on our XML list model. So we can use it in our list view. So let's just put XML list model. And now for our model, we're going to do XML list model. Okay. So the ID is now the model. Okay, we do not need a header anymore. Let's go back over to my Dell and let's change a couple things really quick. Let's actually keep the base rectangle. We can let's do this. Let's get rid of the base rectangle. Let's get rid of some of this text for right now. We will uh, come back and grab it later. Okay, and now let's set the source of this to be what the source is. Now, if we look at the um, if we look at this, we can see that the that it says graphical, so on and so forth. But we need the full entire string, and if you know the API, then it is this right here, right? So we want to make sure that we append this part first, and then we'll say plus banner, okay? Because that's what we declared it as back in our model. We declared the name of it as banner, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Oh, XML is not a, <laughs> I forgot to import it. We have to import Qt quick XML list model. My Dell is not available, unexpected token. Ooh, I'm having trouble today. Alright, let's try that one more time. There we go. Here they come. And there is our images. So, what we can do is set the width to be this right here so it looks better. Let's try that again. There we go. So, we could now do some other things with this. I should show you guys like error checking and stuff. So, underneath mod here, in our XML list model, we have something, we have status. So we can say on status changed. Okay, put our curly brackets around it and we're gonna say, if status okay is equal 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 to XML list model dot loading okay we wanted to do this we want to say console log loading now let's say if status is equal 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 to XML list model dot ready we want to say console dot log loaded plus the source that we're loading from. Let's change this to be capital. And for our last status, we're going to say if status is equal, equal, equal to XML list model dot error, we're going to say console dot log 
XML. Error. Plus, and we'll say error string. Okay, so we're checking to see if it's loaded. It's going to console log and say, okay, we're loaded. Uh, we're loading, I'm sorry. Um, and if it's ready, it's going to say, hey, it's been loaded. The data's loaded uh, from this source, and the source is, of course, right here. And if if uh, there's an error for some reason, it's going to say to us, uh, hey, there's an error, and here is the error string. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see it says loading, loaded. It gives us the name. So it loaded everything, and there are some, obviously, that do not have a banner. Um, so we would have to go through and put some error checking for that, too. In our, um, But we've learned how to do that before in the past. Uh, we could add more and more and more roles to each one. Uh, we could add each one of the roles. We could add overviews and so on and so forth, right? Um, well, this is Joseph, and in this tutorial, um, we learned about uh, XML list model and how to use it to create um, list views. Have a good one. Enjoy yourself out there, and uh, be nice to everybody.